Okay, you might be might be wondering hi anyhow, why I'm focusing on the derriere of a near numb action figure. This is the derriere or and the rear side legs of the near numb figure. So you've got the markings there of which say Lucasfilm Limited 1983 and there's no other markings on the other leg. This is my childhood figure, it's a Hong Kong COO. It says made in Hong Kong there. And it's got Lucasfilm Limited 83 on the back of that other leg. So you've got those two figures. This is my most recent pickup. This is a graded Palatoy mailer box. And this one, even though it says it has a Hong Kong mailer box, it's got a scarred out COO which I think is quite interesting. It's got the LFL on this side of the leg, just like the Hong Kong there. Let's see if we can see it better. You can see the LFL there. You can see the scarring out there. So what I suspect is that they originally shipped for the Palatoy off for the Hong Kong figure. This is how I got this figure. And then when the... Hong Kong supplies became a bit scarce. They sent in for mailers the no coup figure. You can see that that, that leg's got scarred out COO. So this is incredibly interesting if you are a Star Wars figure collector and are into the variants. So you've got the differences between the Hong Kong and the Lili Lede. So the red's definitely darker on that Mexican figure. You would have found this on the MIM cards as well. So this was a, would have been sold on the in the US as well. You see the differences in the face paint. The colour of the pink used on the jowls. Differences in the Jacket colour, this is a more vibrant blue. Differences in the red. This is more scarlet. The boots are more glossy on this Mexican figure. The gloves are also darker and a bit more glossy as well. You can really see it there. I mean, there's a lot more. Maybe these arms were painted, molded in black, and then painted over. No, they were they were molded in red, and then the black was added there. And then you've got the no coup figure there, which is quite interesting. Okay, so I hope you like looking at this just something of great interest to me. I want to know wh what action figure graders uh, Q marks markings are on his near Num mailer box which is the clipper version and a boss bounty as well. Anyway cheers goodbye.